All right, Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory due to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, and I'd like to give double honors unto the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, who I learned this truth from. And I'd like to say peace and salutations unto the hopefully elect. And today I just want to, you know, do a quick lesson again about the woman that claimed she was hit by a brick. You know, information came out that, you know, she pretty much lied. You know, so I'm going to go into it and bring out a few scriptures. Lord willing, this lesson is at a final stage to the point. So I have a couple of clips that I'm going to play. So this is the first one. You grew up and they mad because you trying to be somebody. They mad because you trying to be somebody. I'm trying to be a doctor and they mad. Look what they did to me. Look what they did to me for no reason. They don't beat me up. I'm 30 years old. They don't beat me up. Grew up. Niggas try to beat me up. Grown ass niggas try to beat me up for no reason. Look at me. I'm not a bad person. Y'all know that. Y'all know I'm a good person. And they try to do this to me. So again, as you can see, three years ago, you know. She had a similar incident where she claimed she was hit in the face, but, you know, that wasn't the case. So, and then people also added, you know, pictures. It's a picture of a woman that had an allergic reaction to hair dye. And it said, no, this is not, no, it's not domestic violence. This is a before and after an allergic reaction to hair dye. Many permanent or semi-permanent dyes contain what's called Parafenylenidiamin or PBD, you know, it's pretty difficult word to pronounce, but PBD. This is a common irritant and allergen in most dyes and hennas. As you can see, you know, the pictures, you know, made her face swell up, but, you know, she claims she was struck with a brick. Now, so real quick, if she was struck with a brick, her face would look something like this. You know, it's lucky because these pictures are kind of graphic. She claims she was struck with a brick. It would look something like this. She have a gash and her head would have been bleeding. Her head wasn't bleeding, it was just swollen. Look something like that. She have a scar. No. She wasn't hit with a brick. So, so I'm going to bring out on that. This is an allergic reaction. No. Same thing. And then she also started to go for me. You know, and... She also has a couple, you know, this particular one, you know, she raised over $42,000, you know, so this woman, she's a liar, you know, so I'm going to play the second clip. I wrote back to her and I said, people are not, quote unquote, finding this alleged assailant because she didn't file a police report. She lied to the hospital about not being the victim of a crime so that they wouldn't mandatorily file a police report either. She won't cooperate with the police and is avoiding reputable news stations, right? You sit there and you don't need to know anything else if you choose. Full picture gives a fuller picture, right? The reason I have this comment here is because I went back to add a question mark to the statement about the hospital because we reported last night that in Texas it is state law that when a person is a victim of a crime, whether the person files a police report or not, the hospital is mandated to file a police report. There's no police report that anyone can find about this situation. People are saying that police were on the scenes, but she averted she would not cooperate with the police she jumped into her car and drove herself to the hospital once she got to the hospital if she would have told them that she was the victim of a crime they would have had to report it to the police but she didn't do that 
Oh, S. Rogers is saying two GoFundMe accounts? Sir, look again. Before I did this video and I was looking for a photo of her to add to the, um, to the thumbnail, I found a third GoFundMe which raised over $10,000 associated with her name for which she is listed as a beneficiary two years ago. So we have a GoFundMe from three years ago that raised $5,000 two years ago that raised $10,000, and now this year that raised $40,000. We have a history of problematic behavior. Let me call myself. Two GoFundMe, sir, keep looking. Look again. I, do, do, do you want me to show you the thumbnail? Because I took a screenshot of it in case I needed to talk about it in the future. But if we need to talk about it in this video, let me know. I wrote... So as you can see, you know, she was exposed for being a liar because it wasn't the first time, you know, an incident like that happens. You know, she pretty much going around scamming people, you know. <sighs> Madness. So I'm just going to start in the book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 25 and verse 19. It says, all wickedness is but little to the wickedness of a woman. Let the portion of a sinner fall upon her. So, yes, you know, this woman is wicked, you know. But pretty much, you know, regardless if she's an Israelite or not, you know, this this woman's wicked because, you know, she she lied. You know, it says she was attacked, but there is no footage of her being attacked, being struck with a brick, you know, or anything. And I showed pictures of people that were hit with bricks or either hit their heads on bricks, you know. And it's, it's pretty graphic, you know, but the way her face looks, it doesn't look like she was hit with a brick, you know. So, again, she lied. So, I'm going to jump down to verse 25. It says, give the water no passage, neither a wicked woman, liberty to get abroad. So, right now, this woman has liberty, you know. The modern woman in general has, you know liberty you know to pretty much run around and do whatever they want but this woman in particular you know she <laughs> she's pretty much milking the situation and making it seem like you know she's just being attacked like she's just so hated when in reality she's just going around trying to get money from people and as you can see the second clip that i featured you know that woman pretty much went into it you know and said that that woman she didn't even make a police report when the police showed up, you know, she pretty much avoided them. <laughs> so, you know, she's she got exposed for being a liar. So I'm going to go to the book of Exodus, chapter 20 and verse 16. And it says, thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. Now, again, regardless if she's an Israelite or not, you know, she is supposed to bear false witness, you know, especially if it's a particular person that she's blaming. Now. She says, you know, some guy hit her in the face with a brick and then ran away. She's trying to, you know, just blame some guy if she if there even was, you know, a guy there, you know. But again, she never was hit in the face, but she's trying to blame, you know, another man for something that he didn't do. So, you know, she's wrong for that as well. So when it comes to the book of Proverbs. Chapter six. In verse 16, and it says, These sixteen, it's like these six things doth the Lord hate. Yea, seven are an abomination unto him. A proud look, a lying tongue, hand and hands that shed innocent blood, a heart and heart that deviseth wicked imaginations, feet that be swift and running to mischief, and a false a false witness that speaketh lies, and he that soweth discord among brethren. So, you know, these are pretty much seven things that the Lord hates, you know. And pretty much, you know, this woman has a lying tongue, and she is a false witness. She claims she was attacked by, you know, some guy because she wouldn't give her his number. You know, but in reality, <laughs> that wasn't true. You know, she lied. So, again, this woman is going to get judged. And then, you know, women like her want to cry about how 
Oh, well, black women aren't being protected, this and that. Well, look at what you're doing. You know, it's like I seen a post and then, you know, the brother Amawaga Bar even mentioned it. But Israelite men aren't going to protect women who they can't correct. You know, it, it just does not work like that. If a man can't correct you, then he's not going to protect you. It's, it's just that simple. So I'm going to go to the book of Proverbs chapter 9 and verse 13. And it says, a foolish woman is clamorous. She is simple and knoweth nothing and knoweth nothing. So pretty much this woman is simple because, again, she took advantage of a situation. You know, she made it seem like she was attacked, but never made a police report. You know, because, again, even when she was in the hospital, they said if they would have told her that she was attacked, they would have, you know, pretty much been forced to make a report, you know, but that never was the case. So she lied. She's simple. And she even, you know, stole, she pretty much stole these people's money. Anybody that donated money to her, she pretty much robbed you, you know, which again, that's wrong. We don't condone that, but this, this is just the world we live in. And then let's not forget, she's part of the alphabet community. And I'm going to end it on this. You know, this is just the madness that goes on in Babylon. So it's going to get straight to the point. That's the book of Romans, chapter 1, and verse 26. For this cause, Yahweh gave them up unto vile affections, for even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. And likewise, the men, leaving the natural use of the woman, burned in their lust one toward another. Men with men, working that which is unseemly, and receiving in themselves that recompense of their error, which was meat. So yes, you know, this woman, you know, she is a part of the alphabet crew, you know, the rainbow flag mafia, you know, pushing that, that madness, you know. So pretty much this woman is a liar and, you know, she's going to be judged, you know, for being a liar. So, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. I want to give all praise, honor and glory due to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rakakwadash, I'd like to give double honors unto the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, who I learned this truth from, and I'd like to say peace and salutations unto the hopefully elect. To the next time I say Shalom.